Welcome to a stationary test video on creating a hot furnace on Venus pre-steel. So what we have here is we have a uh, standard furnace. We have it wrapped around with iron walls. Technically, we have a steel frame on the bottom, but imagine that's an iron frame. That, by the way, could be an iron wall on the bottom. It does not, does not need to be a frame. On the input connection only, we have a cowl, and that's important because we need to let atmospheric gas into the furnace and equalize. And it takes a few minutes. You can't just put it on there and you know take it off in three seconds later. You got to wait until it equalizes and the pressure gets up. Now, once it's equalized, you can either pull the cowl off or just leave it there. It does not hurt to leave it in there because gas only moves between the input and the furnace if the pressure outside is greater than inside and of course once we fire it up that will not be true and gas will not flow through the input back out i left this wall open just so you can see what it looks like inside it's very simple we have a furnace i get back up here i have chutes because we're going to go ahead and close it the front barely pops out pretty standard stuff So in this, we're going to throw in, uh, open this up, 10 cobalt, 10 silver, and that's enough to fire it up. So what will happen, it's going to get warmed up, and while this happens, it's going to warm up the gas inside between the furnace and those walls. And so when you see the temperature dropping, is dropping because it's heating up that gas. And once the gas outside the furnace and inside the furnace equalize, it'll stop going down. Now I have done this test before with a insulated pipe, passive vent, and a pipe meter to measure the pressure of this uh, container. It hits around 400 or so. And so given the outdoor pressures, 238, um, we have about a, a 40 kPa buffer because these walls can only withstand uh, 200 kilopascals of damage of pressure before they can become damaged. So this setup just gets it just right and it takes it a little while, but it will stabilize. I think it's like 1.14 and the pressure will be, you know, a little over one megapascal, so which is fine for smelting uh, all the basic ingots and more importantly for making steel. So as long as, get rid of these UI elements, as long as you degas everything going into this furnace, it will maintain temperature. And degassing is um, not too difficult on uh, Venus. I have a separate video, which I'll put a link in how to do an automatic degasser. And, or you could use the arc furnace solution using an array of, you know, of, of those two uh, degas. Although that, if you program it, requires a little more stuff. So this is a pretty simple design. And the key thing is you have to be able to find some cobalt, at least 10 cobalt and 10 silver. Once you have that, you don't need to go find any more. Now for making, um, those at least make you make steel, and once you have steel, that opens up another great possibilities, and then you can go to the advanced furnace and um, first melting the um, super alloys. Anyway, so that's all I want to show in this video, a quick little setup for a uh, hot furnace on Venus. Until next time, see ya.